I want to massively congratulate you for deciding to invest in yourself and invest your time in this Dublin Academy of Education Easter production. The principles we are going to learn here are not only going to benefit you in terms of biology, but I fully believe are going to benefit you for your entire Leaving Cert, and then actually the principles as well for going forward in life when you go on to college. What we do here is not absolute magic. What it is is being smart and being focused and being strategic. What you have to do in order to get a good biology grade in June is absolutely not be the best at biology. If you want to be the best at biology, you should probably go read a biology book, you should go study it somewhere else. What we're gonna get from this is the best biology grade, and that is massively different. If you let me take, talk you through these principles, if you follow, if you fully commit to the ideas that we're gonna, we're gonna show, share with you over the next five sessions, I absolutely guarantee you, you will first of all know where you are, but second of all know where you could be. It should, it will, massively raise your confidence about what is possible in biology. Now, a lot of students I know pick this subject specifically because they're kind of saying, hmm, I wanna do a science, yeah, physics a bit hard, chemistry's a bit hard, I'll, I'll do biology. Now, biology, although it's quite simple to do okay, it is quite difficult to get up in the higher grades. It actually is the lowest amount, the lowest amount of H1s of those three sciences that I've mentioned. Okay, so that, that was, that's a fact from, from 2019, if you wanna have a look at that, okay? In, in this course, it is gonna be 50% learning biology and 50% learning how to actually handle the exam, how to do exam questions. Now, I'm a biology and a maths teacher. In terms of the maths exam, when it's on in the Leaving Cert, is absolutely unbelievable. The government have given us an extra 25 points to encourage people to do higher level maths. You know, the whole course is split into two. You've got one paper on a Friday, one paper on a Monday. You know, because it's on the Friday, you're not getting any of those start of leaving certain nerves, you're kind of into it, but like not too far into it where you're becoming complacent. If it doesn't go well on the Friday, you have the whole weekend to cram for Monday. You can take some of the principles that came up on the Friday and kind of knock off a few principles for the Monday. So maths wise, the timing of that exam is it couldn't be better. I couldn't actually make it any better from my point of view. But with my biology cap on, this is the complete opposite. Biology, if you're not aware, is on the Tuesday in the afternoon. So if you think about it, your biology study has probably ended a long time before that. You know, maybe you were studying up to that weekend and then from the Monday of the week you're leaving cert, you're solely focusing on English, maths, then you come to that weekend we spoke about, you're thinking about maths paper two, you're thinking about Irish, and, and you will have done an exam in the morning and biology is almost an afterthought. So with that in mind, and with the fact that biology is only one exam, one paper, three hours, to get, to get two years worth of study across, to show the examiner you know what you're talking about, you're able for this test, you have, to, you have no choice but really to be strategic in this. Um, so what am I saying? I'm saying that you know potentially what's happened to some students is their study is finished 10 days before and they try cram on the Monday night. You're definitely gonna be tired on the Monday night. Your study should have been finished 10 days before, but not out of like necessity, out of choice. And that's what I'm gonna try to get you to do. I'm gonna try to help you build up a resource so you don't have to spend three hours the night before or the morning of on your biology, uh, your biology review. I'm gonna help you build up a resource which is gonna take a serious amount of stress off you. I'm gonna show you how to study. By the end of this course, you're gonna have a personalized study plan. You're gonna know how to attack the exam and make no mistake about it, having an exam plan is, um, is as important as the exam itself. And that is so, like, it couldn't be more true for biology. Uh, and third of all, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks and ideas that I feel are coming up. I'm gonna show you how to answer questions. We're gonna go through some exam questions ourselves. So by the end of this, you should be extremely confident uh, in your biology in going forward towards that goal in June. If you aren't, there's a couple of things you can do. The absolute massive benefit of having this online as opposed to having it in class is you can pause the you can pause the video at any time. You can screenshot anything on the board. You can go back if you don't understand it. You can run through these principles once. You can actually sit the course three, four, five times if you want it. And you're gonna get it absolutely absorbed by osmosis, using a biology term, 
all the ideas that I have about biology. So I'm going to try to give you as much value over the next five days as possible. With that in mind, please, you got to say to yourself, I'm, I'm investing time, I've invested a little, a little bit of capital. I, 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 am, I am going to take this seriously. So along the way, I'm going to give you like homework, but more so I'm going to give you tasks. And you've got to say to yourself, if I fully commit to this, if I fully commit to this procedure, procedures that have worked for a decade in this school, the last 10 years, procedures that have worked for thousands of students, year after year to get results. Okay, if you want that, if you want that result, you have to commit to what I'm saying here. It's very easy at home for you to say, yeah, 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 oh no, I'll do that later. I'll do that task later, I'll do that task later. No, if I tell you to stop the video to do a question, you should stop the video and do a question. Absolutely no exceptions. If I tell you to go home and do a little task in terms of some homework, you definitely 100% do that. And I'm telling you, by the time you run through these principles, you will have these principles working for you at the end, because the principles will always work as long as you work them. So make sure that you are fully committed now. And I mean that in terms of being present, as in make sure the TV is off, make sure your phone's somewhere else, make sure in front of you, you've got your sets of notes, and a blank A4 sheets always beside you and some pens, okay? And now whatever else suits for you to study as well, if you need to have some water, some food, 100%. Now, as we roll through these sessions of an hour and 15 minutes, I know that that is maybe not the optimum time to be staring at a screen and staring at me. Feel free to take it in any way you want. Break it up 25 minutes, five minutes break, go for a walk, come back. Feel free to do it all in one go. Feel free to do it over five days. Feel free if you're a nut like myself, do it over, do it in one day, and then do it again the next day. Okay, so you can do it in, in any way that you that you actually want. So that's a serious advantage. And one more advantage is I'm going to give you uh, in one of the videos here. I'm going to give you access to me personally. So if you have any any questions on anything to do with biology, anything to do with the plan or the course, you can contact me, you can ask me a question, and I will get back to you directly. So this could not be a better resource, a better opportunity, a better advantage for you to separate yourself from other students. And that is simply what the Leaving Cert is. Somebody, so you could be better than me at biology, I could do the Leaving Cert in a different year to you, you could be way better than me at biology, and I could get a better grade than you. And the reason is because it's all about comparison. What we are going to do here is we're going to strategically separate ourselves from other students, do things they are not doing, and we are going to study smart, efficiently, and effectively. Okay, so if we actually get into it here, behind me on the board, what I have put up is every single topic in biology. Every teacher is going to, and every book and every set of notes is going to section this out slightly differently. Loosely, there are around 38 topics. Notoriously, biology is one of the longest courses uh, in, in the Leaving Cert. I have students coming to me every single year in the grind school saying, we are not going to finish the course. My teacher has resigned to not finish the course. Okay, I can understand that because in your school, in your day school, in, under the Department of, the, uh, Department of Education's umbrella, we, they have to teach you to be a well-rounded student. They have to teach you all about biology and the hope to appre you appreciate biology and you have a deep understanding. And they kind of work that, oh, there's an exam at the end as an afterthought. So they can actually, and they do, and they have in books, uh, lots of stuff, lots of things that actually aren't examinable for you in June. Okay, and it is my job here to filter that out and show you exactly what can be examined. Okay, I have these 38 topics here. I'm gonna tell you straight off the bat, not every single topic is worth the same. I'm sure you are worth the same amount of marks. Not every single topic is equal. Not every single topic appears every single year or in equal measure. Some are worth way more than others. Now, this course B is what I call the H1 course. Our course B is gonna focus on unit three. And unit three is where we separate ourselves, where we give ourselves choice in an exam, and it's where the deeper biology actually lies. Unit one and two are like a base. They're very important for us to know. In terms of the exam, they are an absolute must, a necessity, but this is where we're gonna get the H1. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try, as we go through it, refer back to other topics and help you build that base. You will notice throughout these five days, uh, what's gonna happen is 
I'm going to be talking about biology, biology, and it's going to start talking more about the exam, more questions, more focus, more focus, more focus, uh, and really going to leave you with some confidence at the end. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to look at this unit three. Now, you can see up on the board there, it already looks, it already looks quite daunting. If you look at this compared to this, well, yeah, but you've got to do things that other people won't do so you can get things that they won't get, such as a H1. So I'm assuming we're okay with this. If you're not, you, you chat to me or you have a look, you check out course A. Unit three, although very, very long, people's minds are just a little bit all over the place with this. If we take part in the simple exercise called chunking, 